Okay, so we are going to talk about how to populate your Wendy account with your existing patients. So as you can probably tell, logged into your account for the first time, there's nothing in it. There are no patient records. It is blank and kind of useless. So there are a couple ways to change that. One, the most effective but not necessarily easiest is to do an EHR patient import. So let's import from your EHR all of the patient data needed for Wendy to work. So the way you do this, click this button, download sample CSV. So this is like an Excel sheet, which uh, has different columns. So you can see last name, first name, middle name, preferred name, date of birth, address, city, state, postal code. It's a bunch of data that you should have in your EMR or your EHR. So if you can just export your EHR data into a file that is of the same format as this document, then quite easily, you can just drag it in here and our system will input all the data and just auto-populate your Wendy account. It's not that complicated. If you run into any glitches at all around formatting or exporting the data, um, just let us know and we'd be happy to help you. So the second way to start getting patients in here, um, you can manually add them. So go to your dashboard, hit the plus sign, and I will create a record. So here is John Doe. John Doe. He was born on the 14th, 1429, 2020. Keyboard's getting a little messed up. There we go. So enter a phone number then paying for care. How is this person paying for care? It's a required field. Um, I'll just say self-pay to keep it simple. Direct, add, and now John Doe's in the system. John Doe, we, I think we did that from prospects and therefore he's in prospects. If I was in active patients and I did that, then he would be in active patients and you can just toggle somebody between statuses right there. So those are two ways you get people into Wendy. Manually add them or do the EHR patient import. Also, once you have Wendy hooked up on your website and to your phone system, Wendy will start automatically adding people to the system that she um, communicates with. But these are the two ways to pre-populate Wendy. If you have any questions, let us know. We are always here for you.